pack it up, guys. It's over. Kurumi's dead. Both Kurumi's dead. OG and the five years ago Kurumi. And why? Well, Reine or Mio or Phantom kind of came out of Kurumi Seraphim. I think this relates to the events that happened at the end of season four finale. Didn't Phantom even tell Kurumi, like, are you sure you can do this? And Kurumi kind of like absorbed that shit. So now it's fucking out. And this girl reminds me of Rainy, but a little kid. And it's like, you know, we're supposed to think that this is supposed to be Takami and Mio. So most likely Shiro's paternal, actual blood related mother. But she's a child. So is the mother a lolly? And are we going to be dating a mother lolly? Let's begin today's episode. Uh... Tengu City? Flashback? Dream? Backstory? Space Quake? I think, yeah. Is this the day that Kulturi awakened as Ifrit? Who did this? Origin Spirit. Who did this, bro? Oh, Bakana! Rain, Mio, Phantom, Origin, all these different things come to one. Is this a lolly? I don't think this is lolly right now. This looks more grown up. More backstory. Okay. So this is the actual Takamiya household. Reine and Shiro's clothing. That's not Reine though, it's Mio, I don't know. Big bro and girl. Mana was so worried that Nisama was a fucking virgin, neat, fucking otaku, piece of shit, loser that couldn't get a single girl. Oh, thank God! The bloodline is gonna continue! Oh, never mind, it's for the sins. Never mind, never mind. So I brought her home, the most logical thing to do. Oh, very cute. Wait, she can put on different clothes with her powers. Is she gonna show up to school now? Is 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 little Rainy gonna show up to school now? No bear. Where's the, when does that bear come to existence? What is that fucking bear, bro, in Rainy's pocket? Is that an actual anime in the bottom left? Fafnir in the Azure. I don't know, maybe it's a reference to something? Okay, she learns how to speak Japanese. They're smart. And I would say that all spirits are smart, but then I remember that Toka exists. She's not stupid. She's just a little special. And I love Toka. She's like a golden retriever. <laughs> You gotta cripple him, what? Because it's always, you know, Shiro and Kotori. Actual Takamiya household. Yes. The space quake is still the most, like, mysterious thing, right? Because before in season one, it's just like whenever a girl just, like, from orbit descends down onto Earth, that's, like, the space quake. But then it turns out that... That doesn't always happen, right? And Kurumi was doing some shit where she could even just fucking summon a space quake by like episode 10 or some shit. There was some other stuff too of um, how Toka didn't know memories. She kind of just like... They're all in these different like hibernation chamber pods when they're not, you know, attacking Earth. And they kind of go back into outer space and they get released again. And who's controlling that shit? That's from a long time ago. Three people who, who, who. Two young men and one little girl. Uh, not enough to kind of guess what this could be. Could it be related to Westcott and Elliot? And one little girl. Could this be Ellen? Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm fixating on the different characters. Two young men and one little girl. The Great Eurasian Spatial Quake is the first one ever happened, right? This is like the OG Space Quake that Episode 1, Season 1 starts with. And it kind of cleared off like, how many? 150 million. Yeah, that's the one. At the border of like, what was it? Fucking Mongolia and some place. And of course, the more she tries to fucking remember, she gets a headache. How convenient. You want to go on a date? Dato! 
あやどうって警察に本乱みたいだしそんなとこにいきなり放り込まれたらはあ分かんないですかね別に悪い子でもなさそうですし他に置いてくれるの This is like Toka all over it's like really I'm allowed to stay Since our father and mother aren't here right now Takami and Mio? This is Mio though I don't know I'm assuming that Mio is mom because family name Takamiya but, uh, but then there's Reine, Origin, Phantom and Mio this fourth I is the bear the dad? I don't know Shin! That's the name that Reina kept saying! The boy that resembles Shiro, the boy that Reina fell in love with a long, long time ago. So this is Reina. So this is Reina, because Reina keeps calling Shido Shin. And she is the one that she fell in love a long, long time ago. I think this makes sense. Maybe not, but this is Shin. Okay. Name her, like Toka. I don't got time! Reine or Mio? Reine Mio. Reine Mio. This is Mio. Name. Written with zero in the water radical to make a waterway. Uh, sure. Mio! Look, today... So then why would Reine tell us the story in season 4 of the boy that he fell, she fell in love with a long, long time ago? Reine gave us that story, meaning there obviously is a connection between Reine and Mio. Maybe they are the same person. Maybe they're separate people. Maybe Reine is some kind of like piece that like fell off of Mio. We see Mio here and Reine experiences those memories, but for some reason, they're separate entities sharing the same memory somehow. Almost like a body double? Reine. When the fuck does Reine happen? <laughs> Sure, let's be Japanese. Mio. Rio. Water. Rain so Mio has something to do with like water, right? It, 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 it was confirmed here, right? What, what, what do you say? Radical to make water away. Ocean. Reine. Reine. Rain. Rain. Water? Water. Meal? Oh, oh water? R rain? rain. I, I, I'm reaching right now, right? I, I, I am just, this is like tinfoil theory. We're reaching so fucking hard right now, right? I'm like, how do I manipulate her name to make it sound like what? Oh, rain. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're, we are not cooking. The microwave has a fucking metal spoon right now. <laughs> I actually need to get a tinfoil hat one of these days, bro. Straight up, I need to get an actual tinfoil hat. I need to have it here so that one time I can just like put it on. Whenever I'm trying to like cook, I'll be like... Alright. Alright, Takamiya Mio. Oh, oh, I'm so happy! And is she... She is the second spirit. Well, technically Toka is the second, but chronologically she was the first one, right? Toka is another person that we named. No other spirit we ever named because they already had their names. Tokisaki Kurumi. Fucking Yoshino. Like Yamaitos. Every one of them has names. And yes, some of them are humans that turn into spirits. They're not pure spirits. So I think it does make sense. Kurumi was a human, right? It makes sense. But Toka then? She was never a human. Do we know that? We don't know Toka's origins. Yoshino. Was she always, she, was she always a spirit? I'm going to assume yes. I don't know. How do... The naming thing always got to me in season one because like we named Toka and no one else we named. So it's like, are they like forgetting that this is a thing or are they like setting this up for the future? Wait! But Mana! Shido Mana! Shido. Takamiya Shido. Shin. But, but but Mana lost memories. But Mana thinks that Shido is the brother. But right now we're with Shinji. When the fuck did Shin and Shido have... It's like... Mio Reine. Shin Shido. Okay, here's Westcott. Westcott and Elliot. 
Let's cut on Elliot, bro. And and Elliot basically turns into this whenever he turns into that golden armor form last episode, right? Do you really think she's in this town? She might have run away somewhere else already. Two young men? Two young men. <laughs> bro only has one fucking thing that he does when he goes, takes a girl on a date. And it's a fucking crane game, dude. In every fucking day, he makes sure to go to the goddamn crane game. <laughs> yeah, you're special. I never take any other girls here, man. Yo, <laughs> Oh! It's a bit different, but this is the bear? This is... Because the bear looks like a zombie, right? It's all patched in the future. Holy shit! The bear fucking lore! Holy shit! This is it! At some point, the bear goes through a different design too, you know? It's got like a patch eye and shit. <laughs> so she keeps that bear. <laughs> but Raina keeps it. Okay, Mio loves bears. Toka loves soy flour bread. What is the word? What is the understanding of love? <laughs> <laughs> the diabetes. That's it. Bro, are you gonna say something back? <laughs> I love you. Uh, you too. Th thanks. Date. Oh, he's practicing in front of the mirror. <laughs> where, where is the hi, honey? Where is my my honey, bro? Come on, you gotta hit her with the my honey line. My honey. Alright. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're listening? How long were you there? It's Gashido. No, that, that doesn't matter. No, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't fucking matter. This is literally just like this the, the Itsuka there is just literally just Japanese, right? Phonetics, right? I, I am <laughs> way too deep in. I'm just like any single thing. I'm like, it's got, it's got Shido. More crane game, the arcade. Yeah. Yep. Toka was pretty much saying, asking the same questions too. In a more romantic engagement, Mio. Yes. He's trying to raise you up. Mm. Gonna see a little bit more of her personality right now, huh? Okay. Kotori. What? Mana and Kotori were friends back? Right, not quote cool, jumped away. Oh, yeah, dumped way too quick. No, this is Haruku Homura, totally separate character. Manus BFF that apparently looks like quote cool, but but what if this is quote cool, What if I, I, I don't know? We, we know of Itsuka quote cool, but have we seen her parents? No, they just live alone. We've never seen the fucking parents. What if she turns into quote cool, I don't fuck. Kotori's mom? Kotori's mother? When we have seen Kotori's mother? Koto Itsuka mama? Mama Itsuka? Have we met Mama Itsuka before? Am I? My brain is lagging. I don't, I don't think so. You guys are not... We have? We've never seen Kotori. Why, why are you guys seeing Kotori's mom in chat? You think this is Kotori's mom, bro? Best friend forever. Alright, she's very fashionable. She's gonna... Focus enhancing item. The, the, the resemblance is crazy, dude. She also has a lollipop. This is insane. This is in the past, right? Because I'm thinking, like, did we alter too much shit in season three? In season four, maybe? To the point other timelines will be fucked up? Well, I would agree if it's the future timelines, but this is in the past, right? Yeah, this, this is in the past. That shit would not be affected because of the things that happened in the future. It wouldn't make sense. And how the fuck is Mana a child? How the fuck is Mana a child right now, 30 years ago? How does that work? 
The numbers don't make sense. So that's why you guys are saying this is Kotori's mom. Like, oh, this could be, you know, actually Kotori's mom. And therefore, you know, even like the behavior, the personality traits kind of hands down to Kotori. But it's Haruko something. Well, then again, the Itsuka last name could be adopted by the husband, right? So, yeah. What kind of like experimentations would AST and DEM do to Mana to the point where she'd be stunted for fucking 30 years? They would start now, I guess? Maybe? So, so Mana was technically a legal option. No, 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 it's so blood related. I'm talking legalizing, she's not a lolly. She's actually like 30 something years old. If she's like six or seven right now, she's like 37, right? Yeah, assume this is the same mana. Body growth has been stunted because it experiments, right? <laughs> Damn. The bear! Talk? Takamiya Mio marries Takamiya Shinji. They have a kid, and the kid is Itsuka Takamiya Shido. Westcott has says, Westcott said in season two, Takamiya Shido. Shin is the son of this, meaning Mana is our aunt. How does that work? Wait. Do we have a lolly ant? How does that work? I'm confused now. Hmm. Oh, mutual blushing! Uh -huh. Yeah, we're gonna go somewhere. We're gonna stare at each other. Come on, say the line! Let's begin our date. Oh, she said it! Oh! <laughs> This is the first time, huh? This this is the OG. This is actually the first time that this is ever said chronologically, right? So I guess we're just gonna forget about Kudumi's death. And we're just gonna be fucking around with Mio. <laughs> we're just we're just <laughs> backstory episode. Yeah, fuck Kudumi. She can we'll figure that shit out next week. Kudumi. <laughs> Mio! That fucking bear dude is still there. Mio! Mm. Splashy, splashy! Come on, let's do a little splashy, splashy. I think we saw this in the trailer. I remember Mio being somewhere near the ocean in the trailer, yeah? Catcheriz. Oh, go for it. Go for it. Mm. Oh! Two? So, does he have the power to seal a spirit right now? If the kiss happens, what's gonna happen? It should seal her powers away, then he's gonna get it. Assuming that this is how it works with Shido. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> does it count as a kiss? We share germs. Origami would 100% count this as a kiss, right? It's an indirect kiss. Origami coughed or something. Her germs are fucking polluting the air and it somehow got into Shido. So this is more, you know, direct than that. Yo, what happens if he kisses here? Someone's focus on Mio toes. You. Please dig in. Westcott Elliot in there. That's the car. Westcott! He is locked in onto Mio, huh? DEM and their experimentation and research. This is probably what it all led to, huh? Capturing Mio, the origin spirit, I think. What are you doing, Westcott? Yo, they're coming out with a knife? Oh my god! Who got cut there? Uh, it's a cut on the hand. It should be fine. <laughs> the way that Mio jumped off. Should, this is the roles are reversed. The guy should be the one catching the girl and like jumping over and landing like this, you know? Are you okay? Oh no, I got my little injured. <laughs> I got you, baby. Don't worry. Can she heal? Can she heal it? Oh! Kotori's power. This is it. This is Kamayo. Which implies that the origin spirit and and the theories that I had before was like the different powers, right? It all, I, I thought I, I thought of it as like the origin spirit is like uh, the full thing that has all the powers, and then fragments of the origin happened after the big scatter scattering or whatever. And right now we see Kamail, 
and all these different powers she must have. So does that mean she also has like Zafkil? Does that mean she has like every other spirit? Sandalfon? I don't know. That's just my guess. There's also a, a they mention the world tree, Yggdrasil, and I think that um somehow the tree branches and stuff, it's supposed to represent like different spirits, right? And if you can consider the different branches on the world tree to be individual spirits that we've known so far, then the overall tree is like the origin, therefore the culmination of everything? I don't know. I don't know, but definitely, definitely the origin spirit had all the powers in the beginning, then it kind of just like fragmented after you became Rainy? I don't know. ボード。私を追ってきたんだと思う。え?だんだん思い出し、それから私を捕まえようとして。オッケー。ウズディアザーガール。あとは私が。ナナコタ。エイントランニング。覚悟してんだよ。イヴンワットカットライクディス。This <笑> カゾクだろうが。オーライ。ファミリーレイズ。とにかく人通りのある場所にだよ。あなたがカフスが <laughs> Well, I would be. Yeah, I would be if it wasn't for you, motherfuckers. <laughs> then Elliot's gonna let them be happy to get alone. He lets them go. He lets them go. Just like the Elliot I know in the future. So maybe Westcott kind of hears about this, and this is where all the stuff kind of falls apart, right? Because before they were kind of close. But you can already see in the limousine whenever you're with Elliot and Mess Westcott. Westcott has a very strained face, right? I'm sure it's been years already of the creation of his company and whatever pursuit they're doing. And in the beginning, the mission statement was okay and Elliot wanted to follow through, but at some point, Westcott gets all crazy and gets all extremist. And maybe at this point, Elliot kind of recognizes that, you know what? Maybe what we're doing isn't right. Maybe we should just let him go and be happy. Okay. Did this grown man just get cucked by a high school kid? I think he did. I, th I think he just got cucked. Mana! And Mana was already with DEM when we saw her in season 1, right? Yeah, she was not really AST. She was already with DM. So even like beginning here, did they start doing experimentations? I guess it's implied, right? Because Mana stays with DEM until like, you know, what we see in like season one stuff. Why? Mana being the name is a joke? Huh? Oh, just because of the correlation of Mana being used for magic, you know, they're like wizards, you know, stuff like that. How long have we known her here? Couple days. Has it been even a week? Shin! Come on! Do some main character shit! Oh, what about the guns, though? He's right. Ooh! Kamile, Kamile, Kamile! Kamile Kamai right now. Ooh, faceplant. Kamile. Kamile? INVERT! What happens when an origin spirit inverts? Mio Reine. The bear. The bear also inverts, and that's why you see the different design of the bear. That's the dark bear that we see in Rainy's pocket. No, I don't fucking know, bro. I don't fucking know, but usually when she knows eyes and you know in the later seasons, right? All the girls start freaking out, they invert, right? So like would she hear? <laughs> My head cannon is not the bear inverted. Oh. 
dead. Dead? What the, what the, what the fuck? What the fuck? What about the main character stuff? Oh, this is a bat. Invert! Regular powers are inverts. I don't know. What was that? What was that? What was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Westcott was there. Westcott was there. Then he wasn't. He has some kind of thing that maybe we've seen this before. Maybe we haven't. Does this relate to any item that we've seen before? The bodyguards just died. You couldn't have taken the bodyguards. That was L bodyguard. Does this count as a space quake? I don't think so. This is some I am atomic shit where people are asking, how the fuck did, you know, how, how the fuck did he just blow up the fucking city, but no one got injured nearby? No, it, well, clearly the explosion around you, you know, dude. He's already dead. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. The bear, dude, the bear. The bear's gonna invert, dude. What now? Shido. Takami Shido. I can recreate him? What kind of powers is that? That's so interesting how the kiss mechanic that's used to seal spirits is now, you know, the kiss here is to recreate Shin Tushido. What? That's a kiss, right? That's a kiss. <laughs> Girls only do this when you're pregnant. So when you say recreate, does that also mean that you're going to give birth to him? So, so, <laughs> so Chito is the son of Neo. How, where was the sperm? Sh Sh Shinji is the dad. Is that, no, it's a recreation. Shinji is not the dad, but the birth is coming from her. I don't die. And then what happens? And then what happened with Shito and Neo, right? Now, this is actual incest. This is mom and son. <laughs> I don't care about no blood relation! Motherfuckers coming out the womb! <laughs> How does this work? How does this work? Shin. <laughs> and then that's when Neo comes out of Kurumi and he's gonna say, My son! <sighs> that's the episode. Holy shit. Dude, so much lore. I think. This has to be the episode that's given us the most answers of this show, right? It definitely has. We'll watch the ending later. But holy fucking shit, dude. People are saying don't watch the ending. You guys are giving me such mixed signals. I'm never going to trust you guys. I'm going to watch the ending and opening at the end of the season. But, but basically, Takami Amio, which I presume is the origin spirit. This is 30 years ago. You know, the, the stuff that happened in episode 1, season 150 million death, right? Origin spirit shows up. And who I think is Shido is actually Shinji. The girl that Reina keeps saying Shin. And that is not still answered yet. Why would Reina be calling you know, Shido Shin, if these memories are meals, which further kind of implies that Reine and Mio clearly cut origin spirit kind of the same thing. Maybe it's like, I mean, if she if, if she can fucking recreate Shido, like who's to say that she can't fucking copy herself and has some sudden fucking memories, right? She has, she probably fucking copied the bear too, bro. I, I don't know, but there is definitely a connection there. The craziest thing that took me a while to realize is like the age and like mana because this is 30 years ago and it's like mana still a kid but the de and experimentation that they do and shinji doesn't even fucking know what's gonna happen to mana right because like it, 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 he just died so westcott the more i realize this the more i the more i think about it the more i realize how fucked westcott is the more i realize how Fucked Westcott and DEM is, and how Elliot is a pretty good person that's kind of getting out of this, right? I would like to know more about the backstory of Westcott, Elliot, and Ellen. The early days of DEM, because Westcott probably was like a bright eyed, positive person, but somewhere along the way, he kind of went extreme, and Elliot sees this and he kind of just decides to do his own thing and form Ratatosker to basically counter DEM, right? This girl here, though. Can we assume that this is Koturi's mom? I think we can. There's a lot of uh, similarities between Koturi and her, just fucking design-wise, but also the lollipops. So it's most likely that she marries... Um, But how does that work? Because Shido is the son of Mio. Itsuka Shido. He's an adopted family member. This is Koturi's mom. That means there's another Itsuka dad. Itsuka dad and this girl. 
gets married, make Itsuka Kotori, and then Shido comes in as adoptive kid. No, it does make sense. So there's still one missing puzzle. There is some missing puzzle of Itsuka's dad. I'm, I don't think it's actually that important, actually. I, it probably isn't that important, but cool to see that Kotori, quote-unquote Kotori, was, you know, made a cameo in this episode while Kurumi, who the fuck knows what's happening, or we're going to figure out that next episode. Other than that, Mio, y'all were so quick to jump on the Mio fucking bandwagon, bro. As soon as Kurumi died, it, 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 literally, not even a single fuck, you could have, like, waited a couple episodes. Nah, immediately after Kurumi dies, the next episode, everyone just got, just like, oh, Mio, God, God, oh, Mio, oh, Mio, this, Mio, this. Fuck Kurumi, bro. Kurumi fucking power crept out of meta. It's all about Mio, but Mio is the highlight of this episode, right? She is the focus and she is the origin spirit. A lot of plot related shit has come down to this. And now, this is the girl that Kurumi is trying to kill to make sure that the spirits can never happen again. We can't let that happen. There's no fucking shot we can let this happen, right? We need to figure out a way where Kurumi will be happy such that we can save everybody without sacrificing something. And, you know, Shido is the main character. He is, a uh, And the origin spirit's powers too, right? Maybe we can come to some kind of compromise. But yeah, there is no way Mio's gonna die. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.